Hello guys, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my ranking of the most anticipated films of 2023. As I said in the last video, can't believe this year is here already. It's gone way too quick to get to here. But new movies, new shows, whatever, it's time to celebrate. So here's my rankings of films which I'm really excited to see. As always, my list is not the right list. Yours will be totally different, if not maybe the same. But let's not be arses, let's not Gab some hate in the comments. This is just my opinion. We all have our own. I respect yours. I respect mine. So kicking off the list is Maxine. The last entry in the what I like to call XCU. A trilogy including the movie X, Pearl and now Maxine. Mia Goff and Ty West returns to direct. And we're going to the 1980s where we follow Maxine who's trying to make it into Hollywood. I was a big fan of X and Pearl, Pearl very much, so I'm excited to see what they do in this movie. It's set in the 80s, so I'm kind of suspecting that they may do like an 80s sort of slasher homage movie, which I would really like, seeing as they did that with the 70s in X. So there's a lot of possibility here with this film, and I'm excited to see what happens in this. And number nine is the new Pixar movie, Elemental. Now, I'm a big fan of Pixar. I think they've made some of my favourite animated movies. I think last year was a pretty good year for them. I really liked Turning Red. I didn't review it, but I thought Lightyear was a lot of fun, even though I do understand it has many flaws. But Elemental looks really cool. The teaser trailer wasn't much, but it has a nice vibe to it. The animation, again, just looks amazing. You know, I, you know Pixar's animation is looking good. Already there's like two points on the scoreboard there for them because it always looks great. We don't really know much about it really apart from the two main lead actors and the release date which is coming out in mid-June. So I'm really excited to see this film. I love going to the cinema to watch Pixar movies. I'm excited to see what they bring to the table with this. Another 8 is a continuation of a franchise which is just not seeming to go at the minute but I don't care. It's Creed 3. Michael B. Jordan returns as Creed, and it's actually his first director credit as well, so I'm very excited to see what he does. Jonathan Majors plays the villain, this is his year, I'm telling you, as well as the next movie which I'm going to be talking about, why I think that is the case. But I'm a big fan of the Rocky and Creed films, I think Creed 1 and 2 are possibly the best in this whole franchise. Of course I love the Rocky films, but Sylvester Stallone is going to be missed in this film, unfortunately, I, I feel that is going to be a flaw, but we'll see what happens. I'm into big emotional stories and I think there's going to be a big emotional one here. The trailers definitely hint at that. Jonathan Majors already looks like he's going to be a great villain in this. So I'm really excited to see what happens here in this film. Now, Jonathan Majors returns once again at number 7 with Ant-Man and Wasp Quantum Mania. I'm a big fan of the MCU even though I do feel like there is a little bit of flawness coming into it now. But Quantum Mania looks like it's going to be the final Ant-Man film. My predictions, I think Ant-Man will die, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. But yeah, Jonathan Majors is getting introduced properly as Kang the Conqueror now, a variant of him. Really excited to see that. The trailer really looked good. We're getting another one next week as of recording this. So there is a lot to look forward to in this new MCU film. It looks like we're going to get some huge spectacles of the quantum realm and stuff. Bill Murray's in this film as well. There's a lot more funny humour, there's a lot more shenanigans. I'm really excited to see what happens in Quantum Mania, and that's coming out in February next month. Cannot wait. My number six is a movie which I have been concerned about. I don't know if it's going to be good. I don't know if it's going to be bad. I mean, I'm hoping it's really good, but we'll have to see. It's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, or Indiana Jones 5. Harrison Ford returns. He's reaching on 80 now, and he's still playing this character. And he has sadly confirmed that this is the last one that he's doing. So I'm hoping this is going to be a big send-off for his character. Already the trailer actually looked pretty decent, even though I'm not really happy with the OVs to CGI. However, the de-aging did look really good. That is fantastic what they did there. So there is a lot to be excited about. I'm happy for more adventures. I'm just praying that it's not another flipping Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, because I really hate that movie. I cannot express how much I don't like that film. But the original trilogy, some of my favourite films of all time. Humour, action, suspense, adventure. What more could you want? Everyone wants to be Indiana Jones. And I'm hoping for another great adventure with him. And number five is a movie which is actually coming out on my birthday. Cannot wait for it. John Wick Chapter 4. I love Keanu Reeves. He's my favourite actor of all time. 
I love the John Wick franchise. Easily has some of, if not the best action ever put to film. Keanu is, is John Wick. His corny acting just fits these movies. The just hyper action, the great performances, the great stories, even if they are ridiculous, the great world. There is so much to love about this franchise. And the best part is John Wick Chapter 3 left on a pretty big cliffhanger. So I'm excited to see how they resolve that cliffhanger in this movie. And I can't wait to see it. Hopefully March 24th when it comes out. And number 4 is a biopic directed by Christopher Nolan. It's Oppenheimer. I've always been pretty critical of biopics. I always feel like they go the same formulate road. But some of them are really good. I did actually quite like Elvis last year. But this one... It's directed by Christopher Nolan, which is already a big star right there because he's made the Dark Knight trilogy. The Dark Knight's my favourite film of all time, so he's got that in his locker already. Plus a cast with Cillian Murphy in it, a great actor. There's so much to be excited about about this film. The trailer's already filled me up with so much hope. I love the marketing that they've done with it on the Universal YouTube channel with the trailer looping until the actual day the film comes out. Some great marketing. It looks like there's going to be some great shots in this, some great emotion. I am really excited to see what Christopher Nolan does in this film. And number three, sadly, I think this is going to be the last time we see some of these characters. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This looks like it's going to be an emotional one. The trailer really actually made me nearly cry. Also has a banging song in there by Space Hog. Yeah, it looks like we're going to say goodbye to some characters. I'm saying Rocket Raccoon and Drax, because... David Tisa basically said that he's done with the MCU after this, so pretty much I think he will be going, unfortunately. We're also getting Will Poulter playing Adam Warlock as well, the villain of this film. Already I, I love Will Poulter, I think he's a great actor. So there is a lot to look forward to in this. It also looks visually really good. The CGI actually looks on par for a Phase 4 project. I know it's hard to believe, but James Gunn always puts his time and effort in the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. 1 and 2 are some of my favourite in the MCU. So I'm really excited to see how he ends off this saga on a very high and hopefully a very emotional note. And number 2, our runner-up, is Tom Cruise doing his usual shenanigans. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. That was a mouthful. Yes, the first part of the conclusion of the Mission Impossible franchise, Dead Reckoning Part 2 next year, is going to be the final film. No more Tom Cruise shenanigans in these films. He's not becoming a real idiot doing these flipping death-defying stunts to entertain us. I'm a big fan of the Mission Impossible franchise. Fallout, Rogue Nation and Ghost Protocol are easily my favourites. I love 3 as well. That's pretty much a solid film to me. Um, but yeah, I love the Mission Impossible franchise. It is pretty much the American James Bond. And I love that franchise too. See, I, I love this franchise to death. And I love what Tom Cruise does just to make you entertain. They don't have the best stories, but you don't care because you're just there to watch the amazing action and the great acting. That's all I'm really there for with those films. And it looks like we're going to get continuations of stories from Rogue Nation and Fallout as well, which I think are easily the best stories. I think they are leading up to a real big climax now. So I'm interested to see what they do in this first part. And hopefully part two will be great as well by the follow up. But my number one most anticipated movie of 2023, I don't think it's many people's surprise, it's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales is back. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is my favourite animated movie ever made. It's my favourite Spider-Man movie ever made. It looks like we're going to get 20 trillion Spider-Men in this film. Maybe get some really cool cameos in there as well. I'm not all for cameos, but as long as they're done right, I'm happy. And because of the time, and it looks like the amount of effort that they have put into this film, I can't see it being bad. Can't see it being as good as Into the Spider-Verse, but I'm at least expecting something near enough on par with it. Most of the original cast is back. Miles Morales is back as well. You know, Spider-Gwen, Peter B. Parker. So much to be excited for about this film. And I cannot wait for it to come out soon. And guys, that is it. That is my list of the most anticipated movies of 2023. Let me know what other films you're anticipated for. I can already name a few. I know Barbie's definitely going to be on there because a lot of men I wanted to see that. I'm definitely going to see that. The Fablemans is a film which is coming out in the UK this year. Definitely seeing that later in this month as well, coming out in January. So there's a lot to look forward to in this year and I can't wait to see what great movies we get. 
But that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Next time, it's my first movie review of the year. We're reviewing a film called A Man Called Otto, starring Tom Hanks. And it looks absolutely garbage, because it's a January movie. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to have a good day, and see you later.